Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Welcome to Two Minutes with T and Shemaine. And we're so excited to be back with you guys for another week. Me and Shemaine have been going through a book called Love and Respect. And last week, we shared with you guys one of the keys from that book. This week, Shemaine's going to share with us some more information, another key principle from that book. Yes. So we recall, I mentioned the word chairs. And chairs is what we're going to use for um, going over. It's an acronym for several things in order to, uh, man, bring out the respect part um, that we learned from the book. So today, Today we are on H, which is hierarchy. Appreciate the hierarchy. Appreciate your spouse's ability to lead. As the male of your house, God created him with the ability to lead. So trust his decisions. I know sometimes after we have been married for several years, we begin to experience their flaws, their uh, hiccups, or their bad decisions. And, and we make bad decisions also. But um, I asked you to be gracious with each other's mistakes and, and learn to just trust each other again and continuing to forgive each other again. And, and I just pray that the Lord helps you with, uh, man, trust in your husband's ability to lead because he was created to do that for you and his family. Yeah, we always try to tell guys, man, when we're challenging ladies on the aspect of men leading, we always at the same time like to challenge men that leading is not an opportunity for us to abuse. Leading is actually an opportunity. If we're leading like Christ is leading us, leading is an opportunity for us to sacrifice. I know a lot of men and a lot of women fear the idea of a man leading them because they I see the word submitting, they see him being mistreated and that their voice is not valued. But I think it's the exact opposite. I think that when men, when we are challenged to lead like Christ, there was no way that Christ led. And the way that we, we come to know him is because he laid his life down and died. And I think that a true leadership, that a true husband, it's not just about what he can get in his ways. It's about how can he sacrifice for the good and benefit of his family. So we want to challenge everybody at Married Couples. Let's work on that this week. Uh, it is our prayer that you guys would have marriages, man, that really honor God and bring Christ right into the center of it. And we know as you try to apply this principle, man, we really, really, really need the working of Christ and the Holy Spirit yeah. to uh, carry that out, right? So yeah. we will see you guys next week. Do us a huge, huge, huge favor. Like, comment, or even share the video. See you guys next week.